All right, welcome back to another episode. It is time for some Guild Wars Nightfall. Um, we left off. We acquired our full team of heroes. And I'm just noticing they went ahead and still gave you a lot of choices for henchmen. I guess that's probably because originally by this time you you could only equip three. I don't know if equip is the right word. You could only add three heroes. Um, so you were you were meant to choose the other four from these list of henchmen. I bet you they're pretty good. Honestly, I they're level 17. Yeah, I bet you they're they're probably better than my heroes at this point. Because I'm not using the most OP overpowered, you know, most efficient builds i possibly could um but i'm gonna go ahead and use my heroes anyway i'm not sure uh this is this is also the first mission by the way this is the first mission uh that you no that's interesting does this count as does this count as the first main mission or does this count as one of the uh tutorial missions of istan uh is there a book let me check really quick is there a book in Kamadan? like i have for oh there's like a middle section here interesting let me just work to comment on it uh is there a like a, a quest mission book that's what i'm thinking of um if there is one i bet you it's over at sunspear great hall let's check let's check it um, signalman is that it Sunspear signalman this might be the guy to talk to. Uh, hero skill point. Oh no, this is different. Written evidence. This is right. Wow, me a legend. Written evidence. I would like an empty copy of Night Falls. Yeah. Oh, I got the book Night Falls. Not Night Fall, but Night Falls. I'm going to put it next to my uh, prophecies book. If I open this puppy up. One, two, three, four, five, 17 missions. Holy cow. So we're going to find out once I complete this, if this mission is considered a main mission, it should be here, right? Number one. If it's not, that means it's a tutorial mission. So good to know. All right, let's put our henchmen back up. The other interesting thing is I was worried at the end of last mission was my heroes are so low level. Like, how could I possibly get through this mission? And uh, Tar Heel pointed out, he believes that um, this mission should raise the level of my hench of my heroes to level 20. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, I need to go pick up a... Let me go pick up a Signet of Capture. Hold on. All right, I'm finally ready. Let's do this. I'm going to bring Signet of Capture um i think i'm pretty good on energy so let's get rid of this one and i think there's definitely a paragon there's definitely a dervish elite and there is i think there's two more from the non or two more of the regular uh original professions what am i trying to say i guess i'm just going to keep elementalist it fits my build let's go let's hit it squad is ready to board so we are attacking Kurna. this is the first attack on Kurna, declaring war on varish Osa. unite the western and southern attack fronts capture the forward wall so where are we on the maps we are over here I'll bring up I'll put up my heroes just so you can see what they're up to. I know it takes up the whole screen, but it might be inter interesting to see what skills they're using. There we go. It's gonna be a little bit busy. There we go. Adjusting my audio a little bit. So far, so good. Yeah, this is it. Sunspear Battle Call. Your maximum health increases to that of a level 20 character. 
So just the health is increased. It doesn't it doesn't fix your it doesn't fix the armor, I don't think. Yeah, so they're not using max I don't get to have max armor for my heroes right now. That could be dangerous. That could be a problem. Ooh, look at that damage. Love to see it. Um, trying to think what is the... There, so, so in, in Nightfall, the missions go back to having bonuses. In Factions, the missions were all about how fast you could finish it, which I hated. Um, so we're back to the way I feel like missions should be. There's a primary mission, primary objective and bonus objective. So let's figure out what, I think the bonus objective is killing these field commanders, if I remember correctly. Oh, something's blowing us up. Getting bombarded here. Here we go, yeah. Eliminate the Quirin and Field Marshal groups. We got one. Generally, I feel like the missions in... Or the bonuses in um, Nightfall... They're not necessarily easier, but they tend to be, um, what's the word? Parallel to the main objective. Whereas in Prophecies, the objectives tended to be like, go off in a totally different direction than the, than the uh, mission objective and very time consuming. I, I actually really like the way, the way the mission objectives are in Nightfall. I don't know if it's gonna be... The audio's so loud for you guys. It's very loud for me for some reason. Need to keep an eye on that energy. Or enchantment. Oh, this is the first boss. It is a... A Paragon. One of my heroes got a level up, I think. Was... Zosuke. And Meloni. Nice. Oh, you know what I can do? I can give my green daggers to Zenmai. Yeah, she's gonna... That'll be good. Then she can do more damage. Heck yeah. I'm not using them right now, anyway. Nuke them. And they have the dervishes. So enchantment removal is very necessary. Or very useful, rather, in Nightfall. You're almost always going to be up against some... Dervish. And Dervish like the enchantment. Oh, I don't know why I put empathy on an engineer. I don't think they attack anything. Oh, is this another boss? Yeah, this is the Dervish boss. Pious removal. I would get that one, but honestly, I think Vow of Strength is one of the best. It's actually one of the best Dervish um, elite skills in the game, I believe. It's the one that I used on my heroes most of the time, anyway. Who are we fighting? I feel like I'm just hacking a wall. Go. Keep these scribes low on energy. Oh, right. I forgot. With Mind Rack on, even Drain Enchantment will actually do damage and cause them to lose some energy. Forgot about that. Okay. Attack Fronts United. We get Narashi and Rojas. Lonai. 
Arashi. Beers as one. It's about time you got to us. Jeez. I think... I think uh, Lonai is a minion master also. So let's see if there's enough bodies for everyone. I don't really see anything because of all the furniture. You need to be careful. I don't want to miss any of these bonus field marshals or whatever. What can we do to break down these walls? Take out the priests. We can capture that corn and bombard. They haven't fully set it up and it's facing their gate. There was a ping back that way. What, what is he talking about with bombard? Oh, that's it. Level up. Who got it? Elias. Heck yeah. Death magic is full, so let's get... Let's start putting points into blood. Osuke's catching up. Go. I'll save her skills so she doesn't have anything else to put them in. Of course, this is easier than I thought. I mean, we, we got a lot of... We got three extra allies, so that helps. And I'm running one of the most OP Mesmer builds. I mean, just the nuke. It's so effective. Let's put... Oh, that's right. Empathy is really good in Nightfall against Dervish as well because it, it does bonus damage to um, Scythe wielders because Scythe's attack... AoE, they do AoE damage. So it, it technically attacks nearby enemies and triggers. It triggers it each time. Oh, I should have been putting it into. Oh no, he's got nine tactics. That's good. That is good. Let's go. So this mission is supposed to help you level up your heroes faster, I guess. It might even be worth repeating. This might be a good mission to repeat uh, for experience since it raises your heroes up to level 20. Bring some enchant or some scrolls of uh, experience, experience scrolls. And then just run this a couple times. You'll have all your heroes up to level 20. One of enemies in this mission, actually. I wish Drain Enchantment removed energy from the from them as well. That would work really well with Mind Rack. What is my Yeah, Domination's level 15. Jeez. They lose 10 energy. Yeah. So I should see multiple. And why is he why is he taking so little damage from my empathy? There it goes. Huh. I don't know. Cutscene, here we go. Objective secure. Good work, Captain. Good work all around, Tankoro. We've gotten word from Cormir. She's trapped Farish Asa at the Plaza of the Five Gods and needs reinforcements. We'll be there at once. Move out! A lot more effort and development went into Nightfall. You can already tell. The voice acting... Oh, I need to go this way for the bonus. The voice acting is leveled up. The the cutscenes are better already. In factions already would have had like three glitched cutscenes. 
I wonder, yeah, that'd be interesting to interview the developers. Why was, why was Faction so, oh, these interrupts. Why was Faction so rushed? Compared to Prophecies, I mean, pro compared to Prophecies, I can understand, but like what, what changed that allowed the developers to have so much more time to spend and make Nightfall so uh, polished? I mean, it also goes to show how how great Factions is, though, because despite its flaws, it's still... I, th I think I still got to consider it my favorite campaign of the three. Just from the setting alone, I think, maybe. Maybe I'm biased to that setting, but... Anyway. The, co the coolest thing about this game is the fact that there's three separate campaigns, because right when one ends and you feel like okay now what the the game just opens up again and you're you have you're, you're just left with so much more to do and it doesn't feel grindy like you're just grinding for cosmetics or whatever it feels like you're actually progressing a storyline and developing your your character You spend all the factions and prophecies, you know, getting your character up to level 20 and getting some good items, capping some skills. Speaking of capturing skills, Master of Magic, what does this do? For one second, all of your elemental attributes are set to 8. Okay, that's not good for me, but... Oh, set to 8. Okay, so obviously this is good if you have energy storage up. And your elemental spells return 30%. So you could run Master of Magic, and then you can run pretty much all of the elements. I'm definitely going to put that on Sosuke. And he can do a mixture of like fire and earth or something like he was one thing to- Oh my gosh, what is that damage? Oh, that's disgusting. That is crazy damage. Captain Kavaka. Is this a warrior? Yeah, he's a warrior. I should put empathy on him. Good help. Ooh, scroll of in inside. That would have been nice. We gotta level up. Then my sweet. He should be doing some decent damage. Where's the next field command? He's up there. Uh, does it end if I go up this way? I hope not. I need to go. Ac I actually need to go up that way. I might have actually aggroed the wrong team. Let me draw back. Let me drop back. Yeah, the minions should be tanking them. I need to go up this way. Hopefully, I don't. Double aggro though. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Music is so loud in Nightfall. Yikes, let's get behind the wall. What am I doing? There we go. Should be able to... Yeah, if I can put my teammates behind the wall here, they should be able to attack and not take any damage. Because they're on, like, hold position. Uh-oh, I'm cheesing it. I'm cheesing this right now. I'm taking zero damage to you guys. Right. Oh, Gladius. Nightfall has some really cool weapon skins. The Flaming Gladius or the Fire Gladius or whatever. This is not it, but it just reminded me of it. Looks cool. Is that the last... Where's the last field marshal? Oh, that was it. Okay. Sweet, we did the bonus. That was easy. Now we finish the, the mission. So if you aggro the wrong group there, I think you fail the mission. It all comes down to this one. If you take that one first, you, you lose the bonus. You take the right one, you get the bonus. 
Whoops. Okay, double mind rack. Look at that damage. Okay. I'm not able to use any skills because they're just dying too quickly. I'm liking my team. My team is pretty strong. Just like that. Master's reward for the first Nightfall mission. Very smooth. Let's do this cutscene. Spear Marshal Cormier. Good to see you, Captain. Varus has holed up here with her followers. Now that you're here, we can make the assault. Sunspears, at the ready. Spare those that surrender. Now, in the name of the five gods, forward! Well, there's a little glitch with the going on with there's a battle because they you just spear it. Does she really die here? I don't think she does. Running will not save your fools. Abaddon is strong. Nightfall is coming. Cool. She's called Prophet Varish now. This is smashed by Varish's demons. Their ally slain or captured. The surviving Sun Spear search for sanctuary. All oh, right, I lose some of my heroes. I think at least. Maybe just Koss, I think. I gotta go rescue Koss. Koss has been captured by the Coronin. Speak to Sun Spirit Modiki. Wait a minute, what happened to Koss? After the demon's attack attacked, he retreated from the city. The last one last anyone saw him, he was holding off a horde of Kurnin guards. Oh, Koss. <laughs> yeah, so we're not able to use Koss anymore unless we do this quest, though. So. Better do this quest. We can't use Yolan Haven as a rally point. There's just too many Kronin patrols. Maybe you could check with Zudash Dejarin. He's cranky old merchant. Okay. So this merchant will help us find a sanctuary. In the next area actually has a lot of bosses to capture skills and bosses that have green items so it might be a new proof green farm uh, coming up very soon uh heard about your debacle ilu jonah might be able to help you he's in ronjok will be his headache okay all right anyway we are at Yolan Haven. I think there's a skills trainer here. We can look for new skills. Yeah, lots of new skills. Look at all these. Sweet. Or maybe the same as before. I don't know. But anyway, this is the end of the first mission. Actually, from the next mission, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to I'm going to take a break from Rogier. I will come back to him, I promise. But uh, the next mission, the next episode will be actually starting, uh, showing the prelude, the beginning of Istan, 
from a new Nightfall character's point of view. And then once I catch up to this Consulate Docks mission, then I'll go ahead and switch back over to Rogier. I just feel like Istan has, it's just too large, you know, it's so big to just skip it. I don't want to just skip it in this playthrough, so. If you don't like it, uh, sorry, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then um, you you might want to skip a couple episodes to come back to Rogier where we continue for the main mission. But anyway, kind of a quick episode. Got a sweet, We re I really like my team, my team of heroes, very powerful. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.